Hello everyone. So today I want to start uh, talking about uh, LaTeX and uh, if you are uh, using org mode in Emacs then uh, I highly recommend you to also take a look at uh, LaTeX because uh, you can do a lot of wonderful things. Now personally I have uh, never really done a lot in LaTeX because uh, it is uh, not really something that I had to use although I remember and seeing people using it but at the same time um, I was always happy with uh, generating PDFs uh, using either uh, LibreOffice or maybe using some other softwares if I have to but recently I have started moving and, and, and I'll give you the reason why I am now moving towards uh, LaTeX. Now recently I have started using uh, org mode for uh, not each and everything but uh, most of the things that I want to do especially when it comes to generating uh, documents that I can send to someone else. Now I use org mode now to of course you know keep track of my notes which is of course one thing wonderful thing it is something that many people do at the same time i use org mode for publishing a blog uh, but i have also started using uh, org mode now to create uh, proper official documents like uh, proposals invoices or reports for example and i basically have started sending those reports to my clients that I generate using org mode and uh, when I send it to the clients to, to my clients I basically send them uh, nothing but a PDF file and the great thing about LaTeX is that uh, you can do variety of uh, customizations you don't have to know LaTeX really well if you are already using uh, org mode then that is it that is all you need to do and uh, for getting started I will of course show you how you can generate a beautiful looking PDF file from LaTeX uh, but at the same time uh, I'll try to also share uh, various tips and tricks along the way because uh, I'm also learning quite a lot. I'm also uh, getting most out of these uh, configurations in org mode when it comes to generating a PDF file or a LaTeX document. When you, when you generate a LaTeX document like a text file TEX file then that is all you need to do uh, you can obviously convert it to PDF but if you're using org mode then it will do the job for you now first of all you have to install LaTeX on your computer which is already installed and uh, I will let you figure out how to do it on your own distribution uh, just for your knowledge I am using Arch Linux and uh, it is not very convenient to uh, install uh, on Arch using uh, a package but there, there is a similar package on um, most of the uh, distributions. So l l let us take a look at the document that I want to show you today that I generate using this particular org file. So this is one file where uh, I am keeping track of all my org modes configuration and my plan is that one day or hopefully soon uh, in the next uh, definitely in the next uh, few months I will uh, publish a book out of it and Yes, it is possible. I mean, uh, this may not look like a book right now, but uh, you can do a lot of wonderful things. Now, if you have any org file and you have LaTeX installed on your computer, you just need to do Control C, Control E, and it will of course give you this uh, nice uh, uh, buffer where you can select what you want to do further. Now, what I want to do right now is I want to select uh, uh, L and then O. And by the way, if you if you can't really see see it on the screen, don't worry because uh, this is definitely very much uh, clearly uh, displayed when you try to do it on your own computer. Let me just do it again. Control C, Control E, L O, and it will then create the uh, LaTeX file, the TX file, which you can uh, of course see later on if you want to. But it will also generate the PDF out of it and uh, I have to type in here yes because the file was already there on my computer so if I click on yes and now look at this document this is wonderful this is a like beautiful document and uh, this actually looks like a book 
and there are so many things that you can configure in this particular document. For example, right now, if you look at on the left hand side, I have this uh, org file where I have the title, which is of course displayed on top. And uh, I also have the subtitle. And uh, if you want, you can also display the date. Right now, there are some configurations that I have done. Uh, so whenever you're do doing an export, you have the option to either uh, generate your, uh, I mean, you can include a timestamp, you can also include your uh, uh, maybe table of content if you want. You can also include your uh, table of contents with uh, those numbers. So there are so many things that you can do easily using these uh, configurations. And uh, if you look at this document, this is uh, amazing. And if you're using, let us say, um, any of, uh, I mean, it, it will, of course, you know, look differently if you try to generate the same document in a HTML file. The HTML will look, of course, different. But just look at this file. This is, uh, you know, I think perfect in my opinion, and it, it actually looks like a book. Uh, to be honest, if you compare it with the org file on the left hand side, this is definitely much more readable, at least for the end users. For example, in this in this particular document, I am basically keeping a track of all the things that I have learned. For example, what is org mode? What is uh, uh, what is Emacs? Especially when it comes to using org mode with Emacs, because that is what I do. Uh, I mean. If you're using org mode, of course, you know, you end up learning quite a lot about Emacs and uh, also Lisp. So this is something that I'm doing here in this particular document. And it is actually not a very lengthy document. If you look at it, it, ha it has only 23 pages, but uh, it has all the wonderful things. Of course, you know, there are so many things that you can uh, improve later on if you want to. Uh, right now, of course, so the table is not really displaying all the borders, which I will share with all of you how to do it. I mean, I, I mean, my plan is that I will now create a series of videos where I will. I mean, my intention is not to teach you LaTeX or how to do it in do it using Org mode. My intention is to basically share things that I have been doing based on my own personal workflow. So, uh, I, I think uh, many people want to want to just know the top. 10% features of uh, these things that you have in org mode when it comes to exporting to LaTeX. You don't re really need to know each and everything. And that is where uh, the value uh, comes when you are watching a video like mine, because I don't really want to, this is not really going to be, I mean, these video series will not really be like a uh, complete uh, LaTeX org mode uh, series. Uh, it is not really going to be a, a Bible of uh, everything that you can do. It is all about uh, doing the most common things. And I think uh, that is all we need to know, at least for majority of people. For example, in this particular document, if you notice, I mean, at least for my doc for my documents where, where I have to send, let us say, proposals to my clients, I want to have sometimes header or maybe a footer. And sometimes I also want to ensure that uh, I if I have if I have any images, the images are also displayed. If I have any table of content, then uh, I want to I, I want to display table of contents, but in a specific way. Sometimes I also need to insert a page break uh, intentionally. So there are so many so many configurations that you can do, and uh, I of course want to share that all of uh, share share all all of that with you. I mean, I mean whenever I'm learning something, I'm noting it down in this particular document, and at the same time, uh, I'm also going to make a video and share it with you guys. But yes, that is a plan on this particular channel because uh, I was looking at the statistics on my Blackberry Boy channel. And I think uh, my org mode videos are uh, uh, quite popular. I mean, no, when I say popular, they are actually uh, within my videos, my org mode videos get the most views because I think uh, people want to do the, the simple things. But getting started with org mode, getting started with Emacs uh, is not really uh, easy in my opinion. And that is where uh, I'm trying to help. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. Do watch out for uh, my videos, upcoming videos on LaTeX, where I will uh, share these things, wonderful things with all of you. And that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Bye-bye.